here we go. The play, the play, the play, the PlayStation One. The play, the play, the PlayStation One. The play, the play, the PlayStation One dominated the whole market. The play, the play, the play, the PlayStation One. The play, the play, the PlayStation One. The play, the play, the PlayStation One dominated the whole. The market, you got to understand the PlayStation 1 is far better than the set, which has more games, a decent controller, and a popular reception of my critics. Peace out, players. Namco, ah, yes, the name that just rings the freaking bell. In 1995 to 1996, they made one of the best fighting games they could have ever made in their entire business, Tekken 2, the second installment of the Tekken fighting series. It was a direct sequel to the original Tekken, except with bigger improvements, better graphics, more characters, and other good stuff. Like I said, so much to its predecessor, but with a few additions. They continued the use of 2D backgrounds, despite the fact that in the first one it was kind of like 3D, but here they use 2Ds. It also features an infinite playing field and a fighting system which uses all of them. Left punch, right punch, left kick, right kick, you get the idea. And you're actually allowed to use attack reversals, but they only work for some characters, like back throws, chain throws, and a sidestep unique, which is only relevant to two characters, including Kazuya Mishima and Heihachi Mishima. Even though, Yoshi even though Yoshimitsu has a spinning sidestep move, that he it lowers his health, so it doesn't do any good. Tackles is another thing. Characters like Paul Phoenix are allowed to tackle that, and there's a secret combo that he has. And if you can do it right at the end, at the very end, he grabs a hold of someone's neck and then he breaks it. So maybe you could kill someone with it. I don't know. But each time the game is beaten with one of the default available characters in arcade mode, the associated sub-boss character becomes selectable. You know what that means? That means an unlockable character is there. Even in the arcade version, it even features a thing where they say that all the characters are unlocked. That's pretty unique information. Tekken 2 also featured various modes including survival, time, time battle, and time attack. I forgot to say, team battle, so correct me so. <laughs> Anyways, survival mode is more of like a uh, high score aspect of Tekken 2. Basically, it takes the player through endless numbers of matches to see how many opponents that they can defeat without being defeated themselves. In addition, any health lost during the game will carry over to the next match, but the player would regain a little bit more health. In time battle and team battle, it's a two player mode which up to eight characters can be selected by each player. Like survival mode, any health laws during a match will carry over to the next match, but the player will regain a little bit. Time attack mode is similar to suicide. <laughs> to arcade, except is played to see how fast the player can go through it and beat its records and beat records as well basically all the options are on default and you're just going through the whole thing and see if you can beat it at a pretty cool low and legit time suicide Let's discuss the plot, even though it really doesn't have no plot, but according to the Tekken 2 manual, it does. So, two years after the events of the King of Iron Fist tournament, which is the first one, Mishima Zaibatsu, one of the leadership of Kazuya Mishima, has become even more corrupt and powerful than ever before and involved in many illegal operations. These include kidnapping, extortion, and smuggling endangered animal species for illegal experiments. Kazuya is backed by the devil, which inhabits his body and trying to take over his mind. Meanwhile, animal rights activist and operative Jun Kazama is sent to arrest Kazuya for his uh, experiments. 
Kazuya's father, Heihachi, whom Kazuya had defeated and thrown off a cliff after the previous tournament, has climbed back up and is trying and is training himself, plotting to overthrow Kazuya. In an attempt to rid himself of Heihachi and his enemies for once and for all, Kazuya announces the King of Iron Fist Tournament 2 with a large cash prize of one trillion dollars, knowing that Heihachi would appear. I wish I could read more of this. The plot for Tekken 2 is actually so interesting, even though I really am not in for that. I'm more into the gameplay because it really doesn't have no plot. But it actually sounds kind of cool. But if you would like to read the second half, go to the link in the description. I would try to read all of this in one video, but it would be too long. The characters. Oh, yes. My, not my personal favorite aspect, but it is definitely one of my favorites. The game features 16 characters from the previous game. Anna Williams, Armor King, Ganyu, Heihachi Mishima, Kazuya Mishima, King Kuma, Kunimitsu, Lee Shaolan, Marshall Law, Michelle Chang, Nina Williams, Prototype Jack, Paul Phoenix, Wan Jiren, and Yoshimitsu. These characters, appear, uh, characters previously appeared as sub-bosses such as Anna being Nina's sub-boss are made into proper playable characters and given more distinct movesets, although they still share many moves with the originals. Also, Devil Kazuya. Let's not forget Devil Kazuya here. Uh, he originally was a bonus palette swap of Kazuya reserved for the home version of the first game and is also made as a full playable character and serves as the game's final boss. The only way to unlock Devil Kazria in this game is if you is if you beat the game with Kazria when you unlock him by beating the game with just one sub boss. Which is how you unlock Kazria and then you beat the game with Kazria to unlock Devil Kazria. So it's easier to unlock Devil Kazria in this game rather than the first one. Because in the first one you had to go through this Galaga thing or whatever. I believe you have to beat the mini game in order to unlock him. But that's a pain in the butt. But you really should not be concerned. It's just a costume it's just a costume swap of Kazria, so you don't need to worry about it. In addition to returning characters, the game also introduces eight new characters, including Bert Dusan, a Taekwondo master, Bruce Irvin, a Muay Thai kickboxer who suffered from amnesia and now is one of Kazuya's personal bodyguards, and Lei Wulong, a Hong Kong cop, Jack Tu, an updated model of Jack, Jun Kazama, an animal rights activist who sent to arrest Kazuya, and Roger and Alex. A duo genetically altered boxing kangaroo and drama. How do you even pronounce that word? Can you somehow correct me? Educate me. Try putting it in the comments on how you just on how you pronounce it. Don't you know how they do them in those dictionaries? Yeah, try that. An angel. Basically, angel is just a uh, once again a palette swap of Devil Kazuya and. She will appear as the final boss if you play as Devil Kazuya. So basically, that's about it. That's all there is for the characters. Man, how much have I missed from the beginning very part? I forgot to mention. The release of this game, the Tekken 2 port, the Tekken 2 port to the PlayStation is considered to be the vastly superior in content to his arcade counterpart. I forgot to mention, it was released in 1995 in the arcade, 1996 for the PS1. Then it came out in 2005 as a part on the PlayStation 2 as a part of Tekken 5's arcade history mode. On top of that, it also came out on the Zebu, some Brazilian console that never came out here in the US, which I never heard of, though maybe I'll own one one day, who knows. I might. I'll think about it. But it also came out on the PlayStation Network a year after it was on Tekken 5's Arcade History Mode. It was the arcade version, basically. It came out on PSP first, for, for PSP first exclusively, and then a year later, that was when it came out for the PS3, and now it's still there. So maybe you guys could just go there, but I'd say just get the copy, the original copy of, of Tekken 2. I'd say it's far better. I mean, after all, I am making a point. The soundtrack in this game is also pretty good. You can try listening to this all day because it's just so freaking awesome. It also contained remixed music 
which was like the port to the first game. The first game had ma re remixed music as opposed to the arcade's music. Just like Tekken 2. It's like, you know, you know, this, that, and the third. Anyways, according to the reception ratings for Tekken 2, Tekken 2 was a bestseller in the UK. It was acclaimed that many people praise it for its games, graphics, and fluid character movement, which is also what I praise it for. Not only for those, but the gameplay as well. The gameplay just makes it a lot more fun. That's the whole point. I came to play a PS1 game because it's fun. I only play great PS2, PS1 games. They might have outdated graphics, but the games are still fun to play. They might be old school. I really don't care. They're still fun to play. You can always go back to them. And according to the PlayStation Magazine, it, the PlayStation port came in with Tekken 2 was one of the top 25 PlayStation games of all time, describing it as better than the arcade version. It was also placed in Tekken 2 on the PS1. On, it was also placed on as the 59th top 100 game of all time in 2001 on Game Informer, which beat it at the legs of games like, say, Ape Escape, for instance. Yeah, Ape Escape was on the list, but Tekken 2 beat the likes of it, as well as other games that were behind it. That's pretty much everything I gotta say. So if you haven't picked up Tekken 2, there, there's still tons and tons of copies everywhere. Like, I had my own copy, I have my own copy of Tekken 2 for like two years now, and I'm glad to have it. It's still available on Amazon, to eBay, and you know, some other retro video game store that you could get out there. So if you have not played Tekken 2 before, which, by the way, is probably the first video game I've ever played. I played it since I was like 3 or 4 years old, and I'll never forget it. So if you have not played Tekken 2, either get it on PlayStation Network, or if you have a PS1 lying around that still works, and you have controllers and games for it, Think about buying a copy of Tekken 2 off of Amazon or eBay or something like that. Even though I did make videos on JJ Games as well as others on my channel before, maybe Amazon or eBay is, enough, is another obvious place to look at. But JJ Games, I think I would recommend that. Or maybe East Starland. It really doesn't matter. As long as you can find Tekken 2 on an online store that, that sells the game. That's all I got to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Reptile 124 reviews. Be sure to follow me on Pinterest and Daily Motion. Subscribe to me on YouTube and as well as all that. Sign up for my free website as well. And also be sure to check out my new channel that's going to be coming soon. That'll feature that's a man, 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 Reptile. And the Reptile 124 reviews from now on. Shizo Studios. And be sure to subscribe to that. And another brand new website will be coming soon. So be sure to check that out. Until then, this is the Red Tower 24. Peace out and deuces, and God freaking bless America. Suicide.